Hello everyone, this is Jaknar Singh and I'm an year 2 student pursuing aerospace engineering in Canada. So today we're going to talk about how you can track your expenses in foreign country using my favorite app that is Notion. So without any further ado, let's jump on to Mac. So first of all, we'll just jump on to Notion.so so, and you can see this is what Notion looks like and um, uh, for example i just want to show you like in this format i have tracked my expenses and i have filtered them based on the date so this is today we are going to make this database exactly like this from school so what we are going to do is first there is an option called new page so we are just going to be opening a new page we we'll just name it as daily expenses then this is pressing enter and we are going to see the table view all right then we are going to add new database and we are going to say like expenses here as well and for example i'm just going to move these tags to this thing and i'm just going to add one more column date with type as in the type as date then another column with with price and we are going to edit it type as number and then comes the very important part when you go to this one to three option just click this and add Canadian dollar what it's going to do is it's going to be accepting only numbers first of all and whatever number you are going to type it is automatically going to convert them into Canadian dollars so this way we can edit this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this name to the end and I'm going to rename it as comments I use comments to note down like what uh, items I have bought we are also going to add another column um, using like cash type for example i personally i get very confused when it comes to whether i have paid that thing in credit card or via debit card so now we are having tags i'm just going to drag date in front of this and date then comes the pro uh, then we are going to name this thing as name just name and we'll edit this property with next here here will be the like we'll be saying what we have bought or what not then comes the price then comments and cash type that is that looks okay as this date i'll say okay this date then i'm going to say no frills price for example i bought 30 dollars mm, uh, 30 dollars grocery i'm going to milk then what next milk then i'll say chips etc and then i'm going to do is then yeah one more thing is really very important about tags so i just want to add a column here with tags we are going to tag each and every item that we buy for example uh, i'm paying my rent in the first of month so i'll be tagging that expense as my fixed expenses and for example if i'm recharging my presto so i'm also going to tag it as fixed expenses and in notion what we can do is we can particularly see how much our fixed expenses are by sorting through the tags so we are going to make tags on grocery then let me edit this property as select will work what i'm going to do is groceries and i want to go for fixed expenses all right then that's it that is good to go this is the our rough draft of our table how our table looks like so now we got a proper table with date name tags price and comments and cash type i am also going to edit this property as Select. Right. So what will happen is I can also make a tag here using for example cash, cash is okay, then second I'm going to create as debit, 
and the one I'm going to make is credit. Now when you are going to put any tag, you can see the drop down menu uh, out of which you can choose any of the cash type items. What I'm going to, for example, I'm going to make an entry of 2nd of June, just, uh, just out of blue. So what I'm going to do is rent. I'm going to tag it as fixed expenses. Let's edit it as groceries. And my rent is $400. Um, that's it. And cash type is going to be cash. And comments, just leave it blank. So now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, sort them. So when you will just hover around this thing, so what you can do is you can click the calculate and you are going to put calculate all. So it is showing me number of rows that I have in my in my table. Now I'm going to just when you will hover around, it is saying calculate, just click the calculate and you are going to choose sum. So now it is showing me how the sum of all the expenses that I did. So it is also very good. So second point is how we can sort it according to our months. So what we can do is we are going to go to sort, date and say add ascending or descending. That's it. Add sort. Makes sense. Now, so another point where Notion comes very handy is we can see how much we have spent in groceries. For example, that I just want to show it to you first in this one. For example, it's my database of my daily expenses. What I, uh, what I have done is first is Eagle View. It is showing me all the expenses in the year that I have done in the months. So what we can do is we can sort the expenses using tags. And once I click groceries, it is just, it just telling me how much I've spent in a month on groceries and how much is the sum and where and when I have spent that money or on groceries. So eating out, uh, let's not talk about eating out because I do not want anyone to judge me. So that's the reason. So fixed expenses, these are my fixed expenses that you can see. So anyhow, that's it for today's video. See you in the next video. Goodbye, take care.